people? I just wanted to show you all my uh, little bug out belt. Bet y'all ain't never seen one of these. But first, if you got some monster calves like these, I'm going to show you what this is. Let me show you how I work my belt here. Knife sharpener. This here is a real good felling axe. Look at the edge on this man. This was this will take down a tree really nicely and allow you to do some really good stuff that just drops right in here all right now i'm going to show you what this stuff is First and foremost, I don't have a mirror handy, so on my back is just a camel back. Good for a couple gallons of water. And that's the hose where you put it, and on the end, I just put a filtration straw with a lanyard. This was on my leg. This is, uh, I got it in the military. It's for, to hold your cell phone when you're doing PT and stuff. And I just added a pou couple pouches of things. This here's a standard lanyard compass. Yeah, it's pretty wedged in there pretty good, so I'm not going to get it out. That there's a scope. A multi-tool. Get a good quality one of these. Spend the money. Definitely want a multi-tool, and that's a little garden shovel. Good stainless steel one for about five bucks. This is something I just recently added. Someone told me about these fishing traps, and they're really good. You basically, they come with that string at the top there. So you run that string through these two holes and to anchor that to something. And then to set it, Let's set the camera down. To set it, all you do is pull it out to the desired length, and then take that hook and then let it catch. So. And then you'll have this thing hanging, and it's uh, got some pretty nice snap and tension to it. That'll ring you up a fish real quick. So, and they're pretty cheap, about three to five dollars. Anyway, on my belt here, let me take that out of the way. This filling axe is from Grom's Brooks. And it was about 180 bucks, and it is well worth it. That is good, thick steel, a good, nice, pre-grinded uh, edge on it. And you can just tell the craftsmanship. I don't even know blade, bladed axes that well, and that just impresses me. Alright, let's take a look at this. That's just a little carpenter's belt. I got some fishing line in there with my knife sharpener. And I stuck a little hatchet in the hammer pouch. 
Yeah, that's just some throwing knives you got quick access to. A flashlight. That's the pouch for the axe. Here's a canteen with um, some water tabs, water purification tabs, as well as uh, a waterproof match container full of waterproof matches. That's the carpenter's thing I just showed you. There's my knife, a good K bar. It's a good flat blade for making traps and snares, hunting, all kind of stuff. Another canteen, can never have too much water. On this side. Uh, a military baton. This thing will jack somebody up good. Gravity release. Uh, what else do we got? Put that back in there. We got a combat knife right here. With the magnesium fire starter. I don't want to take that out because it's a pain. And then at the end, we just got two different more styles of throwing knives. So plenty of reusable weapons. This here, I'll show you. I've never seen a machete like that. This is real. That's about five pounds and it's good thick steel. It's got saw, serrated edge on one side, probably good for sawing, and then a uh, pretty decent edge on it. I like tools with multiple functions, so anyway, this is the belt I'm going to be wearing around my little homestead while I explore it and whatnot. So, oh. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Take care.